What is up everybody? I hope you're having a wonderful day. Now, the weapons and tactics over, they are numerous and there are a lot of them. I wanted to talk about spears today and talk about three spears that I think are some of the best in the game. Now, do keep in mind this is my opinion. This is not a fact. There might be better spears too based on how you play or what you look for in a spear. So, do keep in mind that these aren't the best overall, but I find these to be some of the best of the ones you can get. So what three do I recommend? Well, first I wanna say spears are kind of an underrated class, or weapon type. <laughs> they're kind of an underrated weapon type. Uh, not a lot of units can use them, and they're not about damage. A lot of people, when they look at a weapon, they look at damage, how much damage it can do, how much it can hurt the enemy, and spears, they don't really do that. They do offer great range and the ability to hit multiple units, but outside of that, they're not going to be your heavy hitting weapons they do have a triple strike finisher finisher which is spiral scourge that is very good i think a triple hit finisher is very nice and giga tempest is an aoe uh finisher as well which kind of gives it a uniqueness you know granted you know the other finisher scythe wind does do breach which is nice but um you know they got some kind of unique finishers to them that are a little bit different than other weapons you know not, i don't know too many other weapon types that have a triple hit or an aoe uh, there might be a couple out there, but I can't think of them off the top of my head. So let's get into it. First one, in no particular order, is the Holy Lance. Now, the Holy Lance, uh, you know, it's a Holy Lance. It does uh, on-hit light averse, and it does gain light affinity. Now, you would think, well, why would I use this? Well, if you like White Knights like I do, this is a really good weapon to have on them. You get it around level 29 to be using it, and it does have a range of 2 to 3, which is nice. But the main benefit is, you know, it's got some got some good stats. You know, the 124 attack, some vitality decks, you know, the, the good old stuff. Who cares about minus 5 luck, right? But it does synergize very well with a White Knight, and that's who I would use this on. Any other class, I don't think it's going to be that useful. Uh, do keep in mind, you can get up to 4 White Knights in the game. Uh, generally, you're going to have at least 2 so putting this on both of them or one of them is a very solid option i think it's a great weapon like i said and i think it's very useful coming to that class and i mean it doesn't do anything else too fancy as you can see but synergizing with you know elemental properties it does a good job now one of my favorite spears that is you know not that strong because it doesn't you know really scale well into late game being such an early weapon is the scorpion uh scorpion you get it right at level 14 so you know right around chapter two uh you can use it up till end game like i'm doing i mean i'm using it in the post game main reason is well poison on hit you know i just i can't you know free poison on an auto attack uh you know you're probably not gonna have white knights at this time i was using this on denim for a while and then i put it onto my other rune fencer i have a second rune fencer so i have denim with the sword and this other rune fencer with the spear but this is a great weapon just because of the poison alone and it's useful you know stats aren't impressive but it is it is very useful and i find it to be worthwhile not as good as in the psp version but still a great choice as a weapon and finally the last one which might be the best one is the damask spear very solid two to three range uh on hit stun is the major benefit as you can see i prefer weapons that have debuffs built into them i find them to be very good very very high tier weapons in my opinion and the on hit stun is just insanely good give this to a, a white knight that has you know the stun ability that's the auto skill and you know you have this and you're almost gonna stun every attack even if you don't proc the auto skill or give it to you know somebody give it to a dragoon give it to a juggernaut a hoplite you know you can you can do some pretty neat stuff with this and it still is relatively strong it's definitely stronger than the poison spear uh the scorpion you know its stats are way better it's a higher level so still very valuable very useful i probably like this one the best i run this probably on most of my uh most of my guys with spears have this equipped for the most part you know, and there's some other ones, but at the end of the day, a lot of people, like I said, don't like spears due to the fact that they don't hit that hard, they don't do that much damage. That's not what I use a spear for. I use it for the distance, you know, the two to three range. I get on hit abilities that, you know, inflict ailments on the enemy or status effects. And Giga Tempest and Spiral Scourge are very useful, and so is Scythe Wind. All three of those finishers are very nice, and I can find a use for all of them. 
So let me know what you guys think, though. That's just three spears that I thoroughly enjoy, I thoroughly like, and I think are some of the best out there. Like I said, it does come down to playstyle preference, playstyle in general, what kind of spears you prefer over others. But as always, guys, give me your input, give me your impressions, you know, what you think about them. And I hope to see you guys in the next one. Until then, later, guys. Have a good one. Peace out.